Okay, hi there. So here's a, a quick video with five past exam multiple choice questions. They give you an opportunity to check your understanding of positive externalities. For each of these questions, uh, press the pause button if you need to. Think about your answer and let's see who can get five out of five. Here's our first question. What is a consequence of the market failure caused by positive externalities of production? Have a go at question one. Well, positive uh, production externalities are the external spillover benefits to other suppliers, which means that their costs are lowered, uh, lower costs in production. So the, answer, the right answer here is marginal private cost is greater than social cost. You see, if I if I have a cost of production and I mean that that, that cost brings down costs for other people, sharing research, for example, if I provide better infrastructure, faster broadband, and that lowers costs for other firms, the social cost is lower than the private cost. So the answer to question one is B. Question number two, a medical term, medical team in a refugee camp provide vaccinations for children to prevent an out outbreak of an infectious disease. Why would this be described as a positive externality? Have a go, please, at question two. So we're looking here for a positive externality, an external benefit for vaccinating children. And the right answer is A, additional benefit. External benefit might be gained as the disease no longer spreads. So successful vaccination programs, of course, would bring down the risk of serious illness and disease. And they can also prevent infection, as we're seeing with the COVID-19 vaccination programs around the world. Those, that's the main positive externality. Question three. Now, this is an analysis diagram, so take a moment on this one. A government is planning to intervene in the free market to fix output at a level that maximises the economic welfare of society. To achieve its objective, what should the government introduce? Have a look at the diagram. Think about the externality here and take a moment to press the pause button uh, and have a go at question three. So in this situation, marginal social benefit is greater than marginal private benefit. There are positive externalities from consumption. The free market equilibrium is output W, but we prefer the output to be output R, where there's an external benefit of TS. To get there, the government needs to subsidise production to bring the private cost down to generate uh, an equilibrium output of R instead of W. Two more questions to go. In cost-benefit analysis, what does the term net social benefit refer to? What do we think for question four? Well, net social benefit is two flows, two forces. The answer is social benefit minus social cost to get the net social benefit. And finally, here's question number five. The following diagram shows the market for good. Which area represents the social welfare loss which would occur if it was supplied in a free market economy? Take a moment to have a look at question five. Well, here we've got positive externalities from consumption. The free market output is M, the social optimum level of output is R, which takes into account the external benefits of NP. The welfare loss is a triangle, but which triangle? The welfare loss is KLN, in the sense that from M to R, the social benefit is greater than the social cost. Therefore, we're losing some social welfare. Oh, let's take a Let's have a bonus question, question six. The diagram shows the costs and benefits of the production of a good. The firm is operating an output Q1. What would be necessary to move production to the optimum level of output? That's obviously the optimum level of output from society as a whole. So take a moment, please, to have a go at question number six. Well, this diagram shows positive externalities in 
production. You can tell that because the marginal social cost is lower than the marginal private cost. So the equilibrium output from a free market is Q1. The socially optimal level of output is Q2. So therefore we have to think, well, what do we need to get? What do we need to do to get from Q1 to Q2? Well, the answer is we need to subsidise the private costs of the producers to bring down their private costs towards the social cost. And a subsidy of VW, VW would do the job quite nicely. That would increase output, move us down the demand curve from U to W towards the social optimum output. So that multiple choice question is looking at positive externalities in production. In the penultimate video, in this 10 video series on externalities, we're going to be taking a look at a really important idea, the concept of mixed externalities.